What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a little bit of a weird setup here. We are actually in my streaming setup. As you can see, there's my subs and everything. I know it looks slow. Let's not talk about it. If you guys ever want to check out my streams, the, the links will be down all below. But anyway, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom transitions. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I've actually gotten requested how did I do my transition and how can you put that there yourself. So here's an example of what my transition looks like so it's that little glitch effect so you know when, when we go back and forth it'll be doing that little glitchy effect 11 people disappeared bro but anyway guys I'm gonna show you guys how I made my transition and how you can make your own transition as quick as possible because I know that it's not really particularly everyone's cup of tea to see every single step of the way they would rather see something very concise so actually before we get into the actual making of this let me show you guys right here right now if you already have downloaded a template that you would like to use for your transitions this is something that took me a while but in order to actually apply your transition you actually have to click this little gear here I'm using Streamlabs OBS but this is the same process for regular OBS so you're gonna go to edit scene transitions and you're gonna add a transition that is actually going to be a stinger or stinger I don't know what you want to call it uh, and then you call it whatever you want and so I'll just delete what I just made here but you guys can look at this one and of course you're gonna be able to put in the video that you made the duration all of these crazy things and then of course here as you guys can see I have one just called new transition fade in this one you actually have the opportunity to only make it so that it goes for specific scenes so let me show you guys for example what that is so in between my announce and my streaming games it has the whole glitch effect but if I do go to my subscribe video it just kindly fades into it as you can see and then whenever I come back it's just another fade again that would actually be in this connections tab here so these will be fading whenever it goes from streaming games to subscribe video and vice versa and then from announce to subscribe video and vice vice versa so back on to what in the world how do I make this so right here I have open uh, Adobe After Effects now this program is not free uh, but you can have a seven day free trial which is uh, great if you're only gonna be using it for creating a transition so it shouldn't be too difficult to make something um, and of course I will be linking down below some templates that you guys can use first things first I want to show you guys how I made my personal transition and that is actually quite easy I went to YouTube and I said I want a glitch effect and so here I am dragging on my downloaded folder that I, I downloaded and here it is importing and all I said is I want a glitch effect now oops sorry you gotta be you gotta be in the right tools guys so up here in the top left you gotta be in selection tool I don't really use this program mu much but you know there's there's some things that that are quite easy to know so first things first we're gonna be zooming this in a little bit because this is not as high quality as um, the, what I made the project to be but it's not too bad because this is only gonna last for literally a couple seconds so it's not like it's gonna kill us or anything but oh my god that is so loud that scared the crap out of me so we're gonna first of all we're gonna turn this down second of all let's let's watch this right so it's going through a bunch of glitches so let's say we want specifically that point in time. So let's zoom in and we're literally just going to cut this up here and then we're going to cut that end over there. And then this is literally our entire video. This is it. Okay. That's a little long. So maybe just that much, literally that much. It, it looks like it's not much, but if you zoom in, it's, it looks like it's quite a bit, but we don't want it to be too long because your transition shouldn't be that long. Okay. So that's the way that it looks so far. So there's a problem here. You see, when it's here, you see this little, you know, transparent background, but when it's here, you see this black background. In order to fix this, there's multiple things that we have to look at. So over here, we're going to go to effects and presets, and we're going to find something called keying. And we're going to do color key. We're going to drag it into this little thing that we have selected here. And then, of course, we're going to make this color black because that's what we're trying to get rid of. However, you're like... <laughs> Ew, that's nasty. That doesn't look good. You're right. It doesn't look good. So we're going to make the color tolerance be higher up until it doesn't look so nasty. Like at this point, it actually just looks glitchy and nasty and like, you know, it's pretty good. You can always try to, you know, thin out the edges as well so that it doesn't, it doesn't show any traces of black in this video. Next thing you know, it's just that. Now, 
The amazing thing about Adobe products is that you can go easily from one project to another in a different program. So this is After Effects and this is Premiere Pro. This is where I do all of my actual videos and you know for YouTube and everything. So that's the Premiere is what I'm actually good at. After Effects I'm just a little iffy with. So let's say that this is exactly what you want, right? So now we're gonna make sure we save this. I'm gonna save this where I have everything saved in regards to my Twitch. We're gonna we're gonna play around with this, go into this folder, boom, testing, right? Now we go into Premiere, right? And now we're gonna look for our folder that we just made called testing, right here. Now we can easily import this into our project. It is importing and it is also crashing, that's okay. This this program likes to crash a lot. It's something common, you know, sometimes I wonder, why do I even pay for this product? And then, uh, and then I, I get disappointed every time. We put it into this program and it kind of looks exactly the same as what we saw in the other project. Now, I didn't cut it up in the other one because I don't really know how to use that other program very well, but in this one I do, so we watch our transition as you can see it's really zoomed in because it's for a really short amount of time this took in the entire project uh, but we didn't actually work for that long and if you're ever confused you can actually see the audio here so we can always fiddle around with that now now that it's done right at the 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 frame that it ends we're gonna press C so that we bring out our cutting tool or you could just press this little key over here boom cut it press V or click your selection tool and delete the extra so now we have this right but now our problem is hold up wait a minute this looks like it's black in the background well it's just because Premiere doesn't like to show the transparency however it is actually fine so what we're gonna do here is whenever we export it that's that's where it gets really important because we're not gonna export it to a regular mp4 file we actually have to go to QuickTime and we're gonna have this this NTS whatever who cares and you're gonna come down here and we need to change a couple things here because this is where it is important we need to change this to animation and we're gonna click match source when we match the source we're making it basically as high quality as we saw it back here but there's one thing that we need to change and it is this the 8 BPC plus alpha. The plus alpha makes sure that there is a clear background. Whoa, I tripped up the word clear, but there is a clear background. We can click the render at maximum depth, but in the end, what is most important is the 8 BPC plus alpha. If you don't have that checked, you're basically screwed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but anyway. And then when you just click export, and it should take literally zero time. Of course, y'all will get to see all of the videos that I have ever uploaded or made, but whenever you see this here, you're gonna click it and you're gonna be like, oh boy, I can't wait to see what I just made. And then it's gonna pop up and then it's gonna be like, for a very long time, and then this happens. Missing codec. Yeah, it's because it's clear. You won't be able to watch it. It's fine though. You're gonna be totally fine. You will be totally fine, I promise. So now we come back to OBS. By the way, guys, I'm going really fast because I am supposed to be streaming right now. It's literally 4.05 p.m. I, I was supposed to start my stream at 4. Anyway, we come over here, and now we're going to add a new transition. We're going to call it Testing Transition. And we're going to make it a stinger, stinger, whatever. We're going to browse, and we're going to be sure to go to the video folder that I just made. Or rather, the, the video that I just made, which I didn't even name it but <laughs> that's what we're gonna put let's let's say that the transition point is also gonna be you know 40 milliseconds in so basically it, it won't your scene won't change until 40 milliseconds into the transition so we're just gonna do crossfade and we're, we have to make sure we the audio monitoring is odd monitor and output because we actually want the audio to be a part of this so this stinger one we want Let's say we want that to be from streaming games to, uh, let's see, testing transition. Let's say we want it to be to my BRB screen, all right? So, so now our regular looks like this. And then the one that we just made looks like this. Which one was it, BRB? Right? So <laughs> I think I actually used like almost the exact same part. And then whenever we go to standing up, you're gonna hear that it's a little bit lower. And I think it's because I made it really low in the audio here. But regardless, um, that's how we'll know it's different. So we go to BRB. 
yeah so it's a little bit different as you can see whenever we go back that's that's my original one so as you can see that is the best way um to make these little effects but anyway guys thank you all so much for watching this video if y'all enjoyed it or if this helped you out at all be sure to leave a like uh make sure to check out my streams it's twitch.tv slash beat solos and i am having to go live right now nine minutes late because i was making this video for you guys <laughs> i'm a busy person <laughs> but anyway thank you all for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Sunset.